Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel for another awesome headset review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Monolith M1060s. Oh, I'm really excited for these guys. I love the wood finish that these things have on them, and uh, I think these are version 2. I know there was version 1 that had some like issues with the build quality and stuff like that, but I read on Amazon, and that's where I got this from, that this is version 2 of the Monolith M1060s, okay? So let's get into unboxing this thing and seeing what it's all about. Really excited for it, guys. Been watching a lot of reviews of my own uh, before these things arrived and I heard a lot of good things about them so really excited to see what they have to offer and I always hate picking the tape off this is always the worst part of the whole process Wow, I feel like they glued the tape on there that's how like uh, stuck to the box it was that was the hardest tape I think I've ever had to remove from a box <laughs> that was crazy I just got almost fell on the floor that was almost bad don't want to drop these on the floor. They're rather expensive headphones. Wow, look at that carrying case. That is big. That is a huge carrying case, ladies and gentlemen. Holy crap. Wow. All right, I could probably fit myself inside of this thing. <laughs> All right, well, it's cool that they actually include a nice big carrying case. All right, I'm excited, guys, for the grand reveal. Oh, look at those. They look so cool. Seriously, I love that wood finish on these. I heard on version one there was issues with the wood cracking. That was one of the things that I heard was going on with it, but I heard in uh, version two they kind of revised it and fixed that issue, so I don't think I have to worry about the wood cracking or anything like that. Um, so that's what they look like, guys, and there's obviously a cord and stuff like that on the inside. I just want to pop these on my head really. Wow, look at these. They really swivel. Ho -ho! Look at these things. All right, so I'm going to pop these on my head really quick. Wow, those are comfy. I mean, they should be. Look at how thick the padding is on these bad boys. Wow, that padding is really thick, guys. We got the cord here, which is really cool. And of course, we got a thank you for your order uh, little card thing there. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, nice packaging, nice case. I, I'm really like just blown away with how nice this case is. I like that a lot. You know, it's nice and, um, you know, they, um, Obviously, it's a spacious case, so they didn't really like leave it where it's all open. They kind of made it where it's like specifically molded to fit these headphones inside of it, which is good because if you take these anywhere with you, you know, you don't want them being in this big spacious case just kind of sliding around and stuff. You want them to kind of just sit in there nice and flush, you know, so it's kind of good that they, um, you know, molded it specifically for these headphones. Very nice case there with that. Let's take the cord out. Wow, I'm just blown away with the comfort of these things. They look great, too. These things look so good. All right, so oh, dropping the a little uh, adapter piece. This is if you want to use it with an amp, okay? So you don't have to use it with an amp, but I'm going to use it with an amp because I heard it's, uh, you know, much better that way. So yeah, you got your normal 3.5 millimeter audio jack there. And then of course, like I said, you got that little adapter for the amp, which is really cool. And just to let you guys know the grills on these things, which is these little black circles here on each side, these are actually made out of metal. So metal grills, metal headband. Yeah, that's all metal there. This isn't metal. This is like, a, feels like a foam of some sort. It's really soft. But yeah, this whole band part up here is all metal, so that's that's pretty interesting. So much better build quality, in my opinion, as compared to the AKG K701s. I actually just returned those recently because I was not happy with the build quality on those. I was like, these things are legit all plastic, and I feel like one drop on the floor, they're going to break, you know? I just wasn't really satisfied with the build quality. I am much, much more satisfied with the build quality on these, and I love how they're just so, like flexible and versatile like you could literally sit these things any way you want to on your desk or wherever you want to lay them because they literally move in like any type of direction that you want them to move in but yeah i don't want to go crazy with these things and like move them all over the place and possibly break them i mean they look like they're built pretty nice but still i don't want to test the waters with that you know i uh just basically wanted to give you guys a little idea of how uh, you know, movable and adjustable they really are. So yeah, I really like the build on these things. They, um, they're really nice. These things are honestly like, when you see them in person, man, wow, they look so good. Like they look so profesh, so clean. I, I can't get over how cosmetically appealing these things look. Now they look good, but do they sound good? And we're about to find out that answer right now with some NCS Electromania. Here we go. <laughs> All right, so now let's switch over to something that actually has some lyrics to it. Um, 
Let's see, maybe this one? Let's try this one out. Don't say you're on the run to the other side, my love. All right, so let's skip ahead just a little bit more. But you never do, sugar, there's a I'm not gonna sit here and pretend I'm some kind of audio expert. I can't tell you everything about the highs, the lows, all that stuff. I'm giving you an honest review from just a normal, you know, person just listening to music and not knowing too much about how to explain that stuff. But in case you guys are wondering, the bass is really punchy. I really like how the bass sounds on these things. It's really good. It's really. It's really impactful and it's really just precise. I don't know how to really explain it other than that. The bass is great. So if you're wondering about that, bass is excellent on there. Vocals are very clear as you guys could tell. Everything sounds really crisp. I'm overall very satisfied with these, but yeah, I definitely recommend using an amp just because you're not gonna get the full experience without using an amp, but it will still sound pretty decent either way, but I recommend just using an amp. It's just so much better. Um, but yeah, this is my review guys of the Monolith m1060 headphones they look good they sound good what else could i say guys they're an excellent choice of headphones if you're looking for something that's not super high class that's like you know eight nine hundred dollars but something that's you know cheaper and you know more affordable and something that still sounds really good and could compete with these higher priced ranged headphones you know these right here monolith m1060s great choice guys you can't go wrong they sound like they're more expensive than what they really are and that's something i like like these kind of sound like they could be like five six hundred dollar headphones packed into like a almost three hundred dollar price range so pretty good guys i highly recommend them i love these a lot these are going to be my main go-to's for headphones glad i you know returned the other ones that i had and got these instead these are a much better choice much better fit for my personality and my music preferences and stuff like that so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did like it up subscribe turn the bell on all that cool stuff and i'll catch you guys all in the next one have a great day or night and see you later